Welcome to another video. Walk on the wild side and I am not in Blackpool in this video. I am a little way up the road here in Skipple, just outside Poultonley Fylde. This is the River Wire pub behind me. We're not far from the banks of the River Wire. It's a pretty exclusive area around here. Millionaire's Row. Not far away, Mains Lane. It's where all the rich people live. Some very expensive properties around here. But in this video, I want to take you down a new bypass road, which has recently opened. It's called the Windy Harbour Bypass. And it pretty much starts here, just at this junction here, the Skipper, what used to be the Skipper Roundabout. Yeah, that main road up there takes you into Fleetwood. And this road here is the new bypass. And I want to take you down it. Where does it lead to? Let's find out, shall we? Yeah, so this is the Riverwire pub here. It's rather swanky. Nobody sitting outside today, but we're not far away from that weather. I can actually smell the Sunday roast from out here. Nice gardens as well. Easter weekend, it's going to be a big weekend. But anyway, we're going to head out onto this road here. This is a new bypass. Look at this, it's all new. And I'm going to take you all the way from here, down that way. Let's see where it goes. OK, well, I just drive out of the River Wire pub. I just want to tell you about this bypass. It's called the Windy Harbour Bypass, but it actually bypasses the village of Singleton, which is uh, what I was talking about before, Millionaire's Road, some big houses around here. Now, it's been an absolute nightmare around here the last couple of years, especially at this uh, junction up here, which used to be a big roundabout. It's called the Skipple Roundabout, and it's now a major junction. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drive onto it and uh, drive down the road and see what we can see, shall we, with this new fancy road. Look at that little car there, little Citroen. Anyway, coming out of here, all different here now. So it's changed quite a lot around here. And the, this uh, junction up here has been an absolute nightmare, honestly. Temporary traffic lights and everything, it's been a nightmare for people that have to drive around here quite a lot. Now, if you come to Blackpool or Fleetwood from the north and you take the exit off the M6 towards Fleetwood, you might be familiar with this area because it kind of brings you into this um, part of uh, the area. If you're coming off that motorway towards Fleetwood, but it all changes somewhere around about here. You see this building on the left? Well, just behind here is Mains Lane. You see there's a there's, um, there's some buildings here. If, if you turn left there, that takes you down Mains Lane. That's the old road, you see? That's the old road there to the left. But we're gonna go on the new road. So like I say, when I talked about Millionaire's Row, Millionaire's Row is down that road there to the left there. But we're gonna head up this way along this new bypass, yeah? Let's check it out, shall we? Nice day for it today as well. So here we go. So this road links up with the, the motorway, the M55 motorway. And the main reason is to bypass that village. I don't know why they call it the Windy Harbour Bypass, because that's the name of the junction from Garstang Road to the A585, the existing A585 which takes you then to the motorway, the M55. So all this here now is all new. All new. Look, they've even got a parking area as well. I also want to show you a bridge on the other section of this road. There's a massive big bridge they built for just a, a few people, I think, to get across the road. But we'll, we'll have a little look at that, shall we, as well. It says there, Wheaton Barracks. Wheaton Barracks, yeah, Wheaton Barracks. We're going to head straight on. Now, if I was to turn towards the right here, I would get to Blackpool. So you might be able to see the sign there. M55, M6, this way. 
Just gone past a massive house and estate in Polton back there. So this is the other section of the bypass and just up here there's a bridge which goes across. It's a dual carriageway so it's different to what it was before. The, the main road before was not a dual carriageway. Now there's this bridge here, it's not the bridge I was talking about, this is a road bridge but there's a footbridge just up here. I'm going to stop and we'll have a look at the footbridge. So as I'm, as I'm driving down this road now, it only opened about two weeks ago since. Now we're, we're seeing this footbridge now and I want to take a closer look at it if I can. So let's pull into this parking space and uh, we'll take a look at this footbridge, shall we? Nice daffodils, planted daffodils, weren't they nice? Planted daffodils along the side there, look at that. I'll tell you what, they're bombing it along this road. Can you see Blackpool Tower? Hey, Blackpool Tower there, can you see it? Blackpool Tower. Anyway, I just want to quickly show you this bridge here, this footbridge that goes across this dual carriageway, completely new. Now, I believe, I've had a few people on Facebook say that this bridge here was built because one man and his dog wants to cross the road to the other side. What do you think, folks? That's a pretty big bridge, isn't it? What do you reckon? Bloody hell! They're absolutely flying down here. So what do you reckon to this bridge then, yeah? Yeah, so a few people on Facebook have been saying, look at this massive bridge they've had to build across this uh, new bypass dual carriageway. And they reckon, some people reckon it was because one man and his dog needs to cross from one side to the other. What do you reckon? It's pretty major, isn't it? Anyway, let's carry on, shall we? You know, I'm a little bit disappointed, folks, because I actually wanted to go on that bridge, but you can't get onto it from this road, so uh, I might have to leave that for another video. But we're carrying on down this road now, the new bypass. Just gone under that major footbridge there for the, the local dog walker, if you believe what they say on Facebook. <laughs> People say all sorts of stuff on Facebook, don't they? Anyway, we're now coming to the end of the bypass, and this is Windy Harbour up here. Windy Harbour is like a massive sort of caravan park to the left hand side. If you turn left here, you get to Windy Harbour. If you carry straight on, you sort of get to the A6 and Lancaster. But this is the end of the bypass, folks, and this takes us now on to, well, it's still the A585. But this is the old A585, the Fleetwood Road, as they used to call it. We've just been on the bypass, we're going past the glassworks. There's a glassworks on the right hand side here. We've got a massive glass sculpture outside. You probably know, know about it if you come past here for quite a bit. But there you go, that was the new Windy Harbour bypass. What do you think, folks? Uh, going bypassing the village of Little Singleton. Uh, major construction, it's taken two years, two years of hell for drivers coming along here what do you think folks let me know in the comments i'll put a link to the works in the comments so you can find out what it's all about you can have a look at a plan and everything if you like the video hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and i'll see you again on the next one